everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. Uh, we're going to be using Distress Oxides uh, along with our stencil and um, a mask again. So we've got our multifarious card here. Um, this is A5 at the moment but I will trim it down. Um, so we're going to start by just placing that down around the center and keep hold of that and then we're going to use crushed olive to start with so I'm just going to bring this color in and around don't worry about lines or it being too smooth as I've said before we're going to be um, putting the stencil over the top okay so moving on to iced spruce now just bringing in a little bit of depth Okay, so now I'm going to place our flourish over the top. Just try and get it as even as you can, and then we'll trim it down at the end. And just keep a firm pressure on that to stop um, any movement. And then we're going to go over the top with twilight. So I'm just working my way around the edge. Let's have a look. Yep, I think that's good to go. Let's check that side. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm taking that off and swapping it for the negative. And then lining that up the best that we can. I'm going to go back to our twilight and Finding the right smoothie, I'm just going to bring in a good bit of depth of colour now, right round the edge. And then slowly just soften it and blend lighter and lighter towards the centre. Just taking some off now. So we want it nice and light in the middle. And blend it out. going back in making it a little bit deeper around the edge
Okay. So now we need a little mini block. And um, which one shall we do? Let's do that little leaf there. And colour wise, we'll try the medieval blue. So I'm going to use the second impression because it's quite a dark colour. Okay, and then I've got a little branch here that I'm going to ink up in the twilight. Okay, and what else shall we put in? Maybe some little berries. Okay, so this time I'm going to ink up in Glamorous. And let's just pop a few berries about. Okay. So I'm going to trim that down. And I'm going to go around the edge with the twilight. Let's turn that over. I'm literally just going to touch the edges. Okay, so just to pick up this colour now, I'm going to add a little bit of the crushed olive, just a tiny bit, just to the centre. And that kind of brings our colours together then. Okay. So we're going to stamp up our two little hedgehogs and I'm going to ink up in the twilight. And I'm going to pop the hedgehog as close to this edge as I can. and the other one the other side. There we go. Then tear a little bit of paper just to ground them. And using the sponge, I'm just going to add 
touch of the twilight. There we go. And maybe we need a little sentiment or some writing to go in the middle. So I'm going to pop that back over. And I'll pop that in the middle. I'm not too worried about um, not reading the whole thing. I just think it needs something up here. So words are always a good filler. So I'm going to ink up, stamp off and then stamp that over the top. And there we go. Okay, so I think the next thing I want is a little star stamp. There it is. I'm going back to the twilight and then I'm just going to pop a few stars around the edge. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of water just to break that sharpness off. You might not want to do this, but um, I quite like the effect of how the water pulls the um, oxide to the surface. And the longer you leave it, the more it sort of bleaches out. So just try this air dryer. And there we go. You might not be able to see that on the camera, but it's give us this lovely sort of mottled background now. It's just softened the edge. Okay, so just dried that off and then using the glue pen I'm just going to go around the edge and I think I've got to the all the way around. So now I'm going to just add a little bit of glitter. A little bit of sparkle. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to use my white gel pen. And I'm going to just pick out a few little spikes on the hedgehogs just to make them stand out a little bit more. There we go, it's standing out a little bit more now. Amazing what this little white pen does. It really does pull the detail out. Okay, and there we have it. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different again. And I hope it's inspired you to have a go 
uh, yourselves. Thanks so much for watching guys, you take care and we'll see you real soon.